So we arrived. 220 kilometers later, we are in Fijac, which is sadly our final destination this year on the Compostelle. And this is therefore also the final unfiltered message from the Compostelle. And today I want to leave you with something that Danielle and I found both so important and the major reason why we feel we were able to release so much of what was full inside of us and were able to fill up all those empty places that we arrived with. And that is stretching. Stretching not only physically, which was really important because when you're hiking so much uh, and you don't stretch, well, I personally would have limped probably more than walked. And usually I'm not a good stretcher, but here that was a religious daily activity. But I'm talking about mental and emotional stretching. See, most of us are using the mind way more often than the body, but we don't pay attention to the state of the mind. Often the mind can contract and uh, get tight and tense, just like the body. And that's when we feel that we are anxious or stressed or that we are only focusing on the negative. And so on the Compostelle I found that it is so healing just to let your mind also stretch, be unguided and let it roam around, admire the beauty of nature, be present with the body, do a little bit of daydreaming, fantasizing about the future, re-enjoying the past. I just let my mind go. And I loved having my mind just roam around like a little puppy without having to be always put back on a leash. And my mind appreciated that because in the end I felt that my mind has much more space now. It is much more flexible. It's more expansive again, more open, more receptive, without really having to do anything, but just giving it that space. And I think we need to do this more on a daily basis, because in the end, we are relying heavily on our mind and we are not really taking that good care of it. So. I wanted to also thank you so much for just watching these videos, for your encouraging comments and emojis. And uh, I really felt like you were a part of this journey and uh, you were great hiking partners. And so I want to leave you with a quote by Thich Nhat Hanh, which is really fitting for this journey and the Compostelle, but in general, the journey of life, which is really ultimately where we are all on. And he said, the miracle is not the walking on water. The miracle is the walking on the green earth and to dwell in the present moment and to really be fully alive as we do that. That's certainly the experience we had in the Compostelle, but this is also an experience we can have no matter where we are, because the gift of being alive is truly that gift that keeps on giving and gives us an opportunity to unpack every day. We just sometimes need to be reminded of that. Well, you will certainly hear more of me, not only from the Compostelle, but for right now, it's time for me to tune out and to integrate. So thank you and uh, take good care and uh, bon chemin, as they say here.